हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईश्वरी तनिक्षा चैनल दिस इज योर ईश्वरी मैम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ट्रिक टू राइट फॉर्मूला ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टडीड व्हेन फॉर्मूला इज गिवन हाउ टू राइट आईयूपीएसी ऑफ द गिवन कंपाउंड इन दिस वीडियो सपोज द आईयूपीएसी नेम इज गिवन how to write formula of that compound we are going to study so students here first uh, study this few tips remember this so that it will be easy for you to uh, write the formula of the coordination compounds so first tip is cation is placed before anion second is write central atom third is write ligands in alphabetical order fourth is total charge on cation should be equal to total charge on the anion so how to apply this we will take one example first example so now iupac name is given to you potassium potassium hexa cyanide c ferret and in bracket 2 so this is the iupac name given to you so the question is write the formula so how to write formula for this so what you should do is first potassium so cation is placed before anion so what you do is potassium potassium formula is K plus hexa hexa meaning is six cyanide o cyanide o meaning is Cn minus ion ferrate ferrate is iron Fe so what is the oxidation state for iron here two is given in the bracket so you will write plus two so first step is write all this so now we are going to write the formula cation is placed before anion so see here cation means positively charged ion so here k plus and fe2 plus so which one you need to place first so students always remember that after ligand central metal ion will be present so this is the ligand cyanide o is the ligand so after this what comes is called as central metal atom so what you should do is don't write central metal atom first always remember that so potassium should be placed first so write k plus then what you should write is write central atom now okay first you should write cation then you write central atom so now central atom is fe so in the bracket write fe don't write the charge now and then after that after writing central atom what you should write write ligands in alphabetical order so if two or more ligands are there then you will write in the alphabetical order but here we have only one ligand so you can write that cn how many cyanide ligands are present six so you will write six here so here there is a cation with plus sign so this should be anion and there should be some charge on that so how to find charge on this is here iron is in plus 2 state so iron is in plus 2 state plus 6 times cyanide 6 times cyanide ha has charge minus 1 so now this is equal to 2 plus into minus is minus 6 so this is equal to 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so this is the charge on the anion so here you will write minus 4 so after this what you should do is so here plus 1 and here minus 4 so write down here 1 without writing charge plus 1 write just 1 minus 4 don't write the sign just write the number 4 so 1 and 4 now cross multiply this so k into 4 is you will be writing like this k4 and then this entire bracket into 1 you will be writing fe c4 
cn six times and don't write the charges so one you should write here or you just leave it is understood that it is one time so here the formula of the coordination compound is this k4 fe cn six times so understood so we'll take one more example and we will try second example so second example is let us write the iupac name iron 3 hexa cyanide c ferrate 2 so this is the iupac name so now first step what you should write is iron iron is fe so fe what is the oxidation state 3 so plus 3 oxidation state hexa means 6 cyanide means cn minus ferrate means again fe what is the oxidation state plus 2 so this is the first step so now you have to write the cation so here plus 2 and plus 3 which will be the cation students i already told you that here this is the ligand cyanide is the ligand after ligand what comes this is called as central metal atom so don't write central metal atom as the cation so this will be the cation so you will write fe plus 3 and then write central metal atom which is fe don't write the charge now fe cn cn six times so central metal atom and then you will write the ligand so now what is the uh, charge on this cation has plus 3 charge so what is the charge on anion that we should calculate so here iron charges plus 2 and then cyanide is six times and charge on one cyanide is minus 1 so this is plus 2 plus into minus is minus 6 this is equal to minus 4 so charge on anion is minus 4 so next step what you should write is so this number write down without the charge this number write down without the charge don't write minus or plus just the number so now cross multiply this so now you will write fe fe four times fe four times don't write this charge just write fe four times then in the bracket fe cn six times so this you are multiplying with 3 so that 3 you will be writing down so don't write here or here so you have to write here so this is the formula for this iupac name student is this clear so this is how when iupac name is given we are going to write the formula so students i hope you like this video if you like the video please uh, like the video share with your friends and also subscribe the channel i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye